it's almost December in the United Kingdom, and um, we've actually got the sun shining, which is unusual, really. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to work on this um, Yamadori U that was collected about four years ago. Um, it's just planted in a washing up bowl, uh, and that's fine because we just want to establish the, uh, the tree, get a good root system. And as you can see, this is, a, this is really nice, really healthy, ready to work, um, and it's got some fantastic uh, uh, features, uh, which um, I'll show you in a moment. Um, but uh, you, you should only really work on very, very healthy trees, uh, and, and certainly with Yamadori, you know, don't, um, don't work on it a, week, a year after you've collected it. And if you bought any Yamadori, what you should do, of course, is, is um, let it stay in your garden for a year, even before you start any work on it, so, so that it, um, it basically it settles down in your garden. Uh, what you don't do is bring a tree straight into your garden, work on it straight away, and then for some reason or other it, it, it doesn't thrive. You don't know whether it's thrived, it's not thriving because you're, what you, the work that you've done, or it just doesn't like it in your garden. If it doesn't like it in your garden, for example, maples don't particularly thrive well where I live. So it, it took me a number of years to realize that I really can't have maples in, in my garden, which is a shame really, because, because they're a beautiful tree. But back to this yew tree. Um, it's dead straight. It's, uh, you know, it's absolutely dead straight with no movement in the trunk whatsoever. And what my intention is, is to create, you know, in effect, a, a pagoda tree, a tree that's got little branches going all, all, all the way up. Uh, so my job today is to clear out all the stuff that I don't want and concentrate on the areas that I do want. Um, so that's my work today. Uh, hope you enjoy it. So this will be my chosen front. You can see it's got, uh, it's actually got a pretty good uh, root spread, a good nabari, and it's also got a dead wood all the way from the bottom. So this tree uh, will give the impression it's kind of been struck by lightning. Um, and the dead wood does go all the way to the top. You can see here. It's a really nice example. And I will be using all of you know, right up to the top, I will be using, uh, there will be a um, foliage right at the very top. But you can see that the, the, the branches are nice and strong. It's a shame really, because a lot of this foliage is going to be cut off. Um, I'll be taking it right back to, to, its, um, to the framework. Let's have another close up here. So you can see that. So I'm going to start work now. Um, I'll be using very good sharp scissors. I'll be clearing out what I don't want and keeping what I do want. So I've started to clear out most around the base. Uh, interestingly enough, um, I knew that there was a really good first branch here. You can just see it. Uh, and from clearing it out, there is actually two. There's a secondary one here which I'm going to take out because it's directly above the other. Um, I'm going to try my best to clear it. I'm not so sure if it's if it's all dead. Actually, it does look a little bit. It, it does look a bit dead actually. So what I'm going to do is um, work my way around this. Take this, take this knobbly thing out here. So you see what I'm doing is I'm defining uh, the, the, those areas. So you can see a substantial amount has been taken away from the base. Um, <clears throat> best part about this is that all that greenery that we've removed that energy will now be channeled into those areas that I'm leaving. So you can see there's a good, good, strong first branch which is going to be here. Then we have a small one which will be just around the back here. Then there's a, a, live, a live vein that comes up here into the middle. You can just see it here. And this is going to form another, which will actually be almost across the middle, but still retaining, you can see this fantastic uh, Shari here. Oh, it's actually a gin because it's it is separated. You can see that. So I'm going to work my way right up right up to the top. What I'm going I'm not going to start. I'm not going to wire anything at this point. What I'm going to do is I say just completely clear it out. Interesting. Look, if you have a look at this turntable, I, I think it's important to to work on a tree 
at the height that it's going to be exhibited. Uh, obviously, for, for purposes of, of convenience, I will bring the tree down uh, to, to work on the top. Uh, but um, you know, this is this is a good height to work at for me. It's going to get a little bit of a trouble when I get up to the, to the top here. But um, you can see it's 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 beginning to take shape. We can see the the really nice uh, features in this tree. A lot of work to be done around here, tidying up all of these cuts, working these gins. Uh, there's that um, that piece of deadwood as I as I mentioned earlier. But uh, this will make a really nice first strong, you know, balanced first first branch, a real character, a real character branch. And it's nice and thick as you can see at the bottom. I've got to take that thing out of the middle there. I'll just do that next. But uh, oh, it's coming together well. Quite pleased with that. So it's really, <coughs> really been stripped out now. You can see where I'm defining all those different foliage pads. I reiterate, I will not be doing any wiring or positioning of any branches whatsoever. It is just a case of getting down the framework. We tend to do too much on our trees uh, all at one time, so I think it's important to spread it out, plus and, and spread the enjoyment out of working on it as well. You know, I'll leave this again for another year or two for sure, and all the time watching how the growth is growing. But this is going to be you know, one quite dominant bottom branch there, but everything else is going to be really quite small and tight into, into it. Clearly there's far, far too much foliage at the top here, and I'm going to clear that out now. Uh, what is quite interesting, in actual fact, is <coughs> got to kind of break away branches here at the top. This one is um, separate from this, so that's going to be another branch. I've got to clear all this lot out here. Obviously, you know, the tops are dominant, so it is a case of keeping that under control and not letting it get too heavy. that's enough work for today and what I shall do with this is I will be feeling it like crazy uh, getting to concentrate on these areas to give us nice good strong branches you know strong branches like this one that we can that we can actually actually work with these are these are okay but I, again I won't wire them I'm just going to let let them uh, start to get some strength um, what I will be doing out throughout the year is, is, is I will be cleaning up these areas. But you can see you've got some really nice things going on here. That would be a, almost like a little independent tree on its own. But what I've done is, as you can see, all the way up and all the way around the tree will be little branches. Nothing will stick out any further than this. This is probably the extremity that, 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 uh, that it will reach. Um, but I think it'd be, it'd be an interesting tree. Uh, I'm, I'm quite uh, quite looking forward to it. I, I do know uh, from uh, when this was planted up that there is actually um, quite a large root here, uh, but this is actually uh, full full of root. Um, again, you can see here, nice open soil mixture of acadama and pumice. Um, ewes love that. Uh, that's definitely what I, I use in all of my um, establishing of Yamadori. So there we go. That's the work done for today. Hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly enjoyed doing it. <laughs>